Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome everyone to IntraZone, India's largest retail intraday traders online conference. I'm Fazil Ahmed, the director of education at Traders Gurukul and also the host for today's program. It's a great pleasure to invite everyone of you to the third edition of this intraday webinar series. I'm sure by the end of this program, you will have a lot of knowledge which can help you to make better decisions in your trading journey. Let me also like to thank our media partner, Money Control Pro, the largest financial portal in India with millions of daily readership on their website. They helped us to reach a wider audience in a short span of time. Let's also thank and appreciate our title sponsor Espresso from the family of Sher Khan, one of the leading stock brokers in India with millions of investors as their customers. The speaker for today is Dinesh C. Nakpal. I'm happy to hear the Dinesh sir is in the market since from 1989 and also he started his full-time trading career from 2006. He's a full-time trader and trainer, also mentor, on harmonic trading patterns, Ichimoko on multi time frame signals, and also he is very good at trading psychology and risk management. Uh, the topic for the today from the Dinesar is Haiken Ashi how to catch the reversal and run winners. Dear Dinesar, on behalf of Traders Gurukul, Money Control Pro, and Espresso, I extend my warm welcome into our program as an elite speaker. Go ahead, sir. Thank the you, thank you. Thank you for having me out here and hello audience, uh, hello viewers. Uh, today's session, Haikan Arshi, I try to keep it as lively, as simple to the basics so that everyone can pick it up and everyone can start practicing it right away from tomorrow. Okay. So let's talk about Haikan Arshi. So a uh, little bit about me already, Faisal has explained. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into the detail of it. It's just that uh, the journey has been, you know, it started with uh, IPOs and investments or, you know, just outside of the college and then uh, trading. So Harshad Mehta era, dot com bubble, COVID crash, the subprime crisis, everything. But full time trader and uh, coming out of a family business and becoming a trader and an investor to earn a living started in 2006. And from 2019, I started teaching the various courses particularly the harmonic ichimoku and you know mind management trading psychology because uh, uh, analysis is overrated in our country mind management and control and you know when one should be aggressive uh, and when should one be defensive what are the rules to follow because money comes very fast in trading and so does it go uh, which is uh, which is a factor with even the best of the traders and the most of the traders so i tend to cover that aspect in detail. So, so today's topic is Haikanashi. Haikanashi in Japanese, literally the word literally in Japanese means balance foot. Ashi means bar or foot. So you like, you know, you're putting one foot inside the house, you know, when a door is going to close or uh, the, you know, the lift is going to close. So we tend to put our foot inside. So we are literally entering into something. We are modifying it. So uh, because it's called, it's a balanced bar or an average, it's a modified candle. It does not look the same like a normal candlestick does. I can see charts are very easy to process and removes the FOMO as well as anxiety of the ex exiting uh, trends uh, early or before completion. In the sense that, you know, most traders, most traders, even uh, I have gone through that factor quite a bit. When a stock keeps moving in a particular direction, we tend to book it early or we tend to enter a stock before it has topped out for a short or bottomed out for a long because we feel you know the fear of missing out on that oh tomorrow it will be a gap opening i'll miss out on it oh it started moving from here haiken ashi will help you in stop doing that it gives you confirmation on how to go about on reversals it's an absolute beauty when it comes to that and at the same time when you are running a winner see in trading you know you might be trading uh, intraday or you might be trading positional uh, you don't trade non-stop you trade you it runs in your favor you book your profit or you take a stop loss then you start 
getting into the next one and next one but so many times we find that we are very early in an exit from a stock because we feel are or is say upar nahi jayega and you know like uh, oh this is too fast now it should retrace you know we try to get way too much into the process of finding minor tops and bottoms in a trend we don't have that patience to run a proper trend because of various could be various factors you know psychological trend but i can ask you will help you not do that it will tell you you can continue to trail it on per haiganashi bar basis so in the time frame you are trading whether you are an intraday trader or whether you are a positional trader or an investor in the time frame you've started your executed your trade it will just help you follow per bar basis per candle basis like that so so this is what there is a difference between a haikan ashi candle and a oh, one second sorry yeah. yeah yeah so this is a normal candlestick what they look like you know various candlestick uh, bullish engulfing bearish engulfing piercing candle dark cloud cover doji candle uh, evening star morning star uh, marubuzu three soldier three white soldiers and so on but hakenashi looks like this completely different and the reason behind that is they are modified candles okay so we cover them now on how why they look different and how they will help us and here also you can see on this screen on the left you can see a stock okay this is a doji this is a doji again a good red green candle two red candles should i exit if i am long in this stock should i exit or oh, should i tighten my trail stop uh, trail stop loss or oh, this is definitely an exit but look at high energy there is no problem at all it just sets up your trail okay there is a trail out here the trail did not get broken trail goes up trail goes up trail goes up trail goes up out here also the trail goes up only out here does the stock take a trail stop loss for an entry which could have been here 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 gives you a proper trailing so you can see in the screen i have not put any indicator no ichimoku which which i practice no moving averages no bollinger bands no rsi uh nothing nothing you you can run haiken ashi without a indicator it's that simple that clear to understand the entire concept and the whole idea of today about haiken ashi would be you know like the saying goes enter and stay on the right side of the trend and haiken ashi will help us do that we want to be on the right side on the part where the strength is there in the market now like i said in candlesticks we have so many uh concepts you know so many around 51 if i'm not mistaken and to you know master each of those 51 the signal they'll give us the follow through etc so haikenashi is modified both theories the candlestick theory as well as haikenashi emerged have originated from japan so here is what the japanese people which is candlestick is around 400 years old how they modified it down to you know so many candlesticks just three bullish bearish uncertain you know we live in a we live in a digital world where things are moving so fast that they uh, you know everybody is coding algo and you know automation is happening so they just bought the entire concept down to just three things a bullish haikenashi bar a bearish haikenashi bar and an uncertain haikenashi bar which is the doji which is normal like a candlestick doji like that now like i said and i showed you in the example a uh, haikenashi uh, bar will look different from the a uh, normal candlestick bar because it is modified now before we go into the process of the modified bar this is what the a bullish haikenashi bar looks like the first one is a large green bar remember this point no lower wick large green bar no lower wick that's a sign of solid strength you do not want to short this and if you are long in this 
you do not want to exit you want to hold on to this this is a modified candle showing you a very strong uptrend next one is a large green bar but with an upper wick and a lower wick the upper wick is fine in a green bar the lower wick is suggesting that there could have been some kind of a dip out here which but the candle by the close of the time frame in which you were seeing it recovered and went strong so your trail stop loss now comes at this lower wick out here it is not a sell it remains a strong buy and you just tighten your trail this one is a fantastic buy this one is a tightened buy out here so now there is a small green one compared to the large one a small one but with no lower wick this suggests that the trend is either you know getting tired or gone into a going is going into a sideways trend and that that's what we've been seeing in this market for the last couple of weeks except for a few stocks we've seen the index and several stocks go on a sideways trend you know non stop sideways axis bank is one particular example very small candles formations happening out there so like that that doesn't mean the stock has gone weak and we should start shorting it it just tells you that there is an a uh, trend is right now tired it is looking for a direction and it is not a sell yet the body is getting small no doubt about it because of the narrow range but it is not giving me a sell signal and the last one is lower wick of a small body so this one is again tire but chances of when you know when this lower wick will get broken on the downside we will say yes now we need to exit the long in this stock or now we are going to go to short this stock like that so all four of these haikanashi bars represent a strength and a signal right so you don't have to look at any other thing yes this is there let me draw a line out here or let me set an alert below this i am out below this i am out otherwise i am continuing to holding on to this or i am looking for an entry now in the small one we will look for an entry suppose i want to buy this i would be looking for an entry above the close of this body or in the with the wick above the wick okay no lower wick body close is better lower wicks go for the upper wick break to happen like that similarly when we are looking at a bearish haikanashi bar okay same rules what i just explained to you but now the difference is in a bearish haikanashi bar there is no upper wick large red body large red body no upper wick okay that means that the selling pressure in the modified candle is so much that it did not go after it opened did not try to pull back and go up it kept on sliding down or went flatish like that but it did not go on the upper side so basically a lower high is being formed in candle wise terms like in the green one with no lower wick was higher lows being formed so here it said in this case again the same rule that the stock did do an attempt to go up failed to do that came back inside so large red body upper wick i'll put my trail stop loss for a short out here or i would like to look for a long entry if it goes and starts trading above the upper wick out here then that case because this was that case where some buying happened okay in the one in the left the extreme left one there was no buyer it was just selling selling this is a crazy bearish candle you do not want to fight this at all you want to be with the short side when you such formations are taking place small red body no upper wick a sign of consolidate accumulation a distribution taking place or a little bit trend tired and that but not a buy signal here also i would be looking for a short if i want to do a fresh short below this in this case again body getting smaller stock is trying to move on the upside but fail to do it so uncertainty draw a line above the wick out here and wait for it to give you a haikanashi modified bar above it then only will we consider it as a turn okay so just keeping it in that sense red body no upper wick 
is a weak candle. Green body, no lower wick, is a strong candle. The bigger the body, the stronger is that candle presence happening out there, the trend at that moment. Okay. And then the last one is the doji. Now, doji is just how it is in the Japanese candlesticks theory. Doji literally means uncertainty. That there is a tug of war going on between both buyers and sellers. The body is extremely small, almost open, equal to close, a very tiny body. Then doji also will be of two kinds. One would be large upper wicks and down wicks, and one would be small wicks. So basically, the larger the wick, the larger the trend is going to come on a breakout of that. Smaller the wick means, again, there is some kind of consolidation or distribution accumulation happening at that stage. We will only enter on the breakout of that doji bar taking place. So you run a horizontal lines and you sit out till it doesn't come in your favor from there. So the dojis, whether it is a red doji, whether it is a green doji does not matter. What matters is there's a long wick, very tiny body, draw lines above, draw lines below that for your breakout breakdown. Now, like I said, Haikanashi candles are different from candlesticks because they are modified. Now, how do they become modified? Why, why, why are they modified and why do we consider it like that is because of this. The open of a Haikanashi candle, so in this case, it's a red one. In this case, it is a green one, up and down. The open of the Haikanashi candle is the previous Haikanashi bar. The previous Haikanashi bars, Haikanashi open and Haikanashi close. Remember, Haikanashi open, Haikanashi close, not a candlestick open close, but a Haikanashi candle open and close divided by two. Hence, balance. Because what are we doing? We are taking the Haikanashi of the body of the previous Haikanashi and dividing it by two. So making it a midpoint open, midpoint. See, the next one out here is a midpoint of the previous midpoint. The next one out here is the midpoint of the body out here. So that's why it's called Haikanashi balanced bar. So the open is the previous HA bar plus HA close divided by two. The high is a normal high of a candle, what we have, you know, in the time frame it is being ticked. Now here you'll notice in this one, I have not shown a high. And in this one, I have shown a low, okay? Because the low is also like the normal low of the candle. Now why in this case is the high thick not being shown? Why is it showing as open and high out here? Like I said, the open of this particular Haikanishi bar was the open and close of the previous bar, right? So maybe the close, say for example, out here, the open say was at 200 and the close was at 100, right? So 200 plus 100 is 300 divided by two is 150. So the open of this is 150, but actual candle has closed at 100. So when in the normal candle, the high did not go above 150, which is the open of the modified candle, hence no upper wick, which means that in the modified candle, the current candle high is failing to go above the midpoint, failing to go above the midpoint of the previous candle. It is continuously seeing selling pressure. Now in this particular case, this one, the previous candle's body, open plus close, divide by two out here, there may have been a dip down below the modified one, hence the wick, then the recovery happened out here. Like in this case, like in this case, open plus close, divide by two out here. The open, after the op modified open, the stock did some recovery go up and then fell down. So. It's something uh, we would put it like this, that uh, the stock is one minute, falling like this. It closed the Haikanashi bar candle. Uh, the modified bar is open here. But during the this particular formation, the stock did go up like this and then fell down like that. 
So you have a Haikanashi, uh, what do you call, upper wick formation happening out there in that case. So, so that, uh, one second, one second, yeah. yeah. So the open, as explained, the high and low of Norman, now the close of the Haikanashi bar, this is again a very crucial point. The close of the Haikanashi bar is again modified. It is the current candle that is supposing I'm forming this current candle's close or this current candle's close or this particular candle close or this candle close is open plus high plus low plus close. So remember the Haikanashi open, the uh, high and low of the normal candle and the last price which is being traded divided by four. So you have an average price of the closing. So not only is the open modified, so is the close. So if I just go back to this slide out here, yeah, you can see out here that any particular candle, say, say this particular one, the top out here, it has a high and low. Well, look at this candle. It is, it is not like that. It's different. The low and the open is looking the same out here because they are modified. We are, we are modifying the entire candle and the modification is required for cutting out all the noise. It filters down all the noise from the chart that yes, this is a proper turn. Yes, this is the continuation of a trend. This is not to be, this is too negligible a pushback happening. The overall scenario is not changing. So that's why this conference, that's what initially those who are new to Haikan Ashi have a problem in trying to understand that why is it happening like this? So before we go into the different kind of trade strategies you should be following, understanding how this open high low close is important even though whichever software you are using charting software it will automatically calculate that for you you don't have to manually do that at all but just an understanding an academic point of view the why it forms like that okay now in analysis of Ashi, when we are trading just like I explained to you the four green points we will again do the same thing just to make your foundation stronger on each part of the analysis in Haikanashi we follow. The first one, a sequence of green bodies identifies an uptrend and a sequence of red bodies identifies a downtrend. So here you are. Look at this. Green body, no lower wick, upper wick. Green body, no lower wick, upper wick. No lower wick, a lower wick, but the body is still green. There is a lower wick, so our trail is now out here on this line, goes a doji. My trail is going up to the doji. No issues, it goes up, it goes up, goes up, continues to follow, 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 doji. So I draw a line out here, doji, doji, doji. This line is never broken. You know, this doji, this small candle body never got broken. It continues, continues continues non-stop similarly on the red side large red body no upper wick large red body no upper wick large red body body getting smaller no doubt but no upper wick here is an upper wick there is a turn of color green body has come into presence but the green body failed to sustain above the doji red body out uh, wick out here so no issue draw a line Draw a line out here, wait for the confirmation to cut your short or go long, depending on what kind of a trader you are at that moment. No issue, no issue, no, nothing, nothing. Trail continues, there's a congestion out here. Steady, you know, sideways. So if those of you who are aware of patterns and all this, this is looking like a bearish flag formation of a pole out here. So in Haikan Ashi, we're just following that. And we have a breakdown. Breakdown continues doji, continues. Now here I have a triangle formation. But I can actually even not look at it like that. We just follow the rules and work. So this particular trade, which was a short, got a trail stop loss first here. Then it gave another shot and it got taken out out here. So imagine, no indicator required, nothing required. Just run it. Just run it one after the other. 
But remember, this was a monthly chart. So as a person who wants to buy uh, NMDC in that time frame, at that time, I was staying away. No, 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 no. As an investor, not coming into the picture till I don't see a turnaround happening. So on the time frame you are looking for a turn, you follow that route. This was BEL. What a dream run it gave. BEL. Okay. The second part of the analysis, the uptrend gets stronger as green bodies, large green bodies are formed with no low wick. The bearish trend gets stronger as large red bodies are formed with no upper wick. Just what I just explained to you in the previous example. Similar highlighting out here adani enterprise everyone loves to you know talk about adani top formation it will fall down it is so expensive etc but look at the dream run the stock here out here look at the dream run here the body got smaller but here look at the body tremendous right this was state bank of india this was the daily chart before the bull run which started uh, two months back look at the fall Look at the decline which was taking place. So you don't want to enter till the turn is not happening. So all that fear of, you know, and all that greed factor, all that emotional imbalance that I want to buy the stock, bottom is formed, top is uh, formed, I must book now, how much will it run? How can I continue? Just stick to the reversal confirmation till then. We do not want to get into the mess at all. Let the modified candle show you the way. Third part, the uptrend gets weaker, exhausted with small green bodies with likely presence of lower wick. The downtrend gets weaker, exhausted with smaller red bodies with likely presence of upper wicks. So when I was explaining to you the different uh, bullish Haikanashi bars and the bearish Haikanashi bars, uh, here is an example of that. So here, this is TCS on a daily time frame. You see body out here, large red green body, large green body, small body, pushes its way up, pushes its way up, doji, body getting smaller, body bigger again, smaller, and now we have tiny body formations out here, very small body, upper wake, lower wake, upper wake, lower wake, and a turnaround. So uptrend getting weaker, okay? then we get into caution, till then we don't, yet we don't get out, till we don't get a reversal confirmation, we just hold on to the trail stop loss like that. Here also, this is a, again, DCS, this is 15 minutes for those who do intraday trading. This is a massive drop, but look at this. After the massive drop, doji candle, tiny bodies, doji, doji, and a turnaround. So this was a bear trap, which took place out here in this particular fall. And then the trend resumes on the upside like that. So keep an eye on that factor in Haiganashi. Fourth part of the analysis, when a series of smaller bodies with both upper and lower wicks are being formed, accumulation for uptrend and distribution for downtrend, the preceding trend could resume in such cases, wait for confirmation. I'm going to again emphasize on this part when uh, I'll be coming to the next part is always wait for confirmation. Just because a doji is formed or a turn of color is being formed or the body is getting small, a lower wick is there. No, we need a follow through. In Haikanashi, you always require a follow through. Just the presence will not do. It's a follow through. It's a balanced uh, process which says that, okay, this is a signal. Now we are going to do it after we get a confirmation of that. So it gives you solid conviction in your trade execution in that manner, okay? So, right, now let's go back. So here, so this one, like I said, uh, if you panic out here that this is going to fall, this is going to fall, body is going to, body is getting very small, no. This is, this is just a sideways thing going on. If it has to fall, it has to start making a confirmation below the wick, below the wick. Look what it did, like a bullish flag, another bullish flag, and a move on the up, another one out here. Okay, this was a sell signal. Sell signal failed to go up, again turned around up like this. So these bodies are not to be traded. We don't trade these bodies. What we do out here is 
we draw a line out here. Draw a line and we draw a line out here. That, and we set our alert that if it is going to go above it or if it is going to go below it, we are going to take the trade accordingly. So we are not in a rush. We are not here to become the, uh, what do you call the astrologers or the predictors of a turn. We are not here. We are here to do probability of trading based on the rule. If it breaks, I'm going long. If it uh, breaks down, I'm going short or I'm running my trade if it's already in the execution mode accordingly. Okay, so. So here too, see, this is Chola, 15 minute intraday trader, big red candles, massive red candles, no upper wake. Of course, you know, no stock does a non-stop fall or a non-stop rise, even intraday or daily or weekly, monthly, whichever time frame you look at. So here was a case of classic sideways distribution happening, you know, nothing, stock is tired. This is a sharp dump from 680 to 600 and 50 rupees in a 15 minute time frame. So naturally it's a bit oversold in that time frame. There is a lot of uh, news and this is happening. Once that drifts down, raw line, welcome back to the trade and non-stop hammering. And all I have to do is I have to just keep my trail one candle behind like this and run that trade, run that trade, run that trade. And here comes the turnaround and I'm out of that trade, out here. Now the last part of the analysis is that I've been showing you all everything, you know, uh, about how to this, 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 but when do I know a confirmation? Like I said, follow through. So we know what a bullish Aikanashi is, what a bearish Aikanashi body is, what a doji is, right? So how do we know it's a reversal? All this was how to run your winner, how to, know not to get into the wrong side of a trend but how do i buy so reversals when you see a trend say supposing there is a trend which is happening out here which is down okay this is a downtrend happening out here and here you see a doji formation take place so these are on your left are all red bodies of haikanashi bar and the stock is now made a doji so what we are going to do is, in the case of a doji, is that we will put a line on the upper wick of the low doji and the lower wick of the doji. That if the stock is going to turn, then it has go, it is it needs to start closing above the doji high, closing above the doji high. So you want to see that stock forming a green Haikanashi bar, a green Haikanashi bar from a red to a green, change of color. That's the other room, change of color, but not just a change of color. We want to see it close above the doji of the Haikanashi bar, the high of the doji, not the body, the high of the doji, which would make a confirmation and then we can put our stop loss out here at this doji level out here just below it is our stop loss for the turn of the trade happening now that would be the case when i see a turnaround happening from a doji so it's not necessary that every time we will have a doji happening out here there will be times so supposing this is a, a fall happening there is a turn which is a green body out here the body could have upper wake upper wake could be definitely there and also a lower wake or the body is a small green candle a small one not a big one okay so in that case because it is a change of color okay change of color we have a body change of color from red to green or in the case of an uptrend green body is over now we have a red body formation so in that case we are going to look for the confirmation of the next Haikanashi candle above the one second here above the body close. So close, close of the green Haikanashi body. 
So remember, when it's a doji, we are going to look at the high. When it's a body, we are going to look at the close, not the upper wick in the case of a green, not the lower wick in the case of a red. That's the difference of Haikanashi. And also remember that just because the presence is there, no, you have to wait for a follow through candle. Similarly, that's for entry. Similarly, even for your reversal trades or your trail stop loss trades, that that's how the progress will take place. Okay. So in this example, you can see out here, fall, 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 out here, fall. There is a doji candle from red number one what is the rule the change will happen when i see a from a downtrend to an uptrend first either there will be a doji a long wick with long wicks or there will be a change of color to green now if it is a doji candle doji candle okay the change is in the doji candle then we draw a line at the high of the doji and we wait for the next haiken ashiva we wait we don't enter till it's not ready. We wait for the Haiken Ashi bar to turn to green and give us a close above the doji. And there we have a turn happening. So if we were short, we are out of shorts, we are going long. If we were looking for a long, we are going long here. This low out here becomes my stop loss. This low out here. Now this one goes on, on, on. It makes a green doji out here. So just because the doji is formed, it's not going to work. I need to draw a line out there. Again, the next one is also a tiny red doji. So again, I draw a line out here and I wait. So the next one is a red bar, change of color and a close below the doji. My trail stop loss is hit. So entry and trail both require follow through confirmations in front of you. Now here, in this particular example, the chain is not a doji. It's a change of color. So now I'm going to look at the body close. It has no lower wick. I'm going to look at the body close and enter above it. Here also, it's a change of color. Red suddenly changed to green. No lower wick in the green uh, body. Keep a alert above that. Closes above it, you're into the long. Here again, you're into the long. Now out here on your right of your screen, this one, green, 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 change. Upper wick, lower wick, draw a line because it's got upper wicks, body is small, draw a lower line, don't panic. You can exit your long if you want out here, but definitely you don't want to short this till you don't get a confirmation because there are presence of upper wicks and bodies are small. You don't want to rush into that trade. You just want to draw a line and you want to wait. And then the waiting, because remember in trading, in investing, the money is made when you learn to wait. You wait, to get your confirmation of entry in a trade. And after that, you wait till your trail is not done till your target. You do not go in out of trades, you run your winners. So that's waiting is something which is a very, very important part if you want to be successful in trading. Waiting in both aspects, sitting, sitting and watching your winners or waiting for the setup to come in your favor. So here also again, see green, turns to doji red, draw a line below the doji red and we have a trade. Again, a approve, again a C now. From a green, it turns into a large red candle. So now, not the low, lower wick of the large red candle, but the close of the body of the large, the next candle is my trade and I can run a winner like that. So remember, when you are going to try to enter a trade, if the, there is a lot of congestions, if there are tiny bodies, upper wake, lower wake, and you're looking for an entry, wait, draw the lines, wait it out. Don't rush into that trade. And you can do this in option charts also, if you have access to them in Haikanashi. Just draw them, run them. Imagine you have an option buy or an option short. You're just running that winner like that. We'll do some live examples before we come back to. Okay, so just draw some live examples for you. So this is the nifty. So I'll start from the lower time frame with you all. So you can see out here, say if you are 
trading in a five minute time frame. So even in a five minute time frame, like a day like today, we had a massive up move coming at three o'clock. Okay. So of course, most people are out of the market at three o'clock by three. But imagine if you were a part of this entry out here. So I'll just make it big. Okay. So this is the part where nothing is happening. Nothing is happening out here. Do one thing. You draw a trend line out here. You're drawing a trend line out here. And you are waiting for, because this is a green wig body, when we have a smaller one, then we have smaller bodies. Don't want to trade smaller bodies. I have a turn in color. I can enter, but because this doji is so close to it, so I can enter above this or I can enter above this. And I have a large green body, no lower wick, low and lower wick, closing out the doji. And into this trade, I can put my trail out here. Okay, I can put my trail out here. Next five minute candle is out here. I can raise my trail now here. Next five minute candle is there. I can raise my trail stop loss here, trail stop loss here trail stop loss here in the system, in the system. But remember, you have to wait for confirmation of reversal happening accordingly, and then you exit the trade. Now, when you're going to put a trail stop loss in the system, remember, the Haikanashi bar is modified. The actual candle will look something like this. So the actual candle close is 18,510. But the Haikanashi candle close is 18,000. 497. So you have to do that calculation on your own and keep it slightly below this level as a trail and keep running your winner. So there's no panic of in out. There's nothing to do of that sort, even in this case out here. Look at this one today. In see, bodies got smaller compared to this massive opening. This is a typical 915 candle. Body got smaller, but no lower wick, no red candle. Keeps moving keeps moving. See, notice one thing, how the body of the next Haikanashi bar, the open, is always in the middle of the previous one. Body getting smaller because the ranges got smaller. Body getting smaller, but no trail stop loss. No trail stop loss. Here we have, here we have the first exit. Okay, draw a line. Why? This is a doji candle. Low of the doji, next candle also a doji. So I need a close below this doji to close my trade. And I have a trade close. Now, I have I need the, I want to short this. So now I'm going to put it like this. Because this was a red body, no upper wick. So I want the next Haikanashi bar to close below this to take a short. Doji, I'm not doing it. Doji, I'm not doing it. Doji which went till here. So I'm going to move my entry here. Stop new short entry out here, new long entry out here. Okay, out here, like this. New long entry, new short entry out here. <coughs> Sorry. So I have a lower candle, body getting small, getting getting small. I have got out here, tiny body did not break this doji loop, did not break this body loop, change in color. But I'm not doing it because too many dojis. Now, what I do is, that because there was a change in color, I'm not going to short till this is not broken. This particular one out here. I have a change in color doji. I've got this large green candle formation. I'm going to move my entry here. Move my entry here. I have an entry in this top. I have an entry going long. This is my trail stop loss. This is my trail stop loss. Makes two dojis. Raise your trail stop loss here. Okay, but remember, Haikanashi closing below that, not candle closing below that. Goes, goes up. I'm into this trade. Okay, now I'm in, I'm in. I have a doji. So I draw the line out here. Again, I have an upper wick, red tiny body. I'm moving the trail out here. And I'm waiting. These are getting negated because this formation took place. Doji. Next candle, I'm out of the trade. I'm out of the trade. Entry was here. I'm out of the trade here. 
Now I've got a short in the system. Why? Because the next candle, remember, follow through mandatory. Follow through. Remember this. Say it to yourself every time you're going to trade Haikanashi, follow through mandatory. Okay, no panics before that. I was short. Now this short will require a trail, initial trail out here. Then the trail, as the bars are coming, I'm pushing it down, I'm pushing it down, I'm pushing it down out here. I have a change of color. The change of color is closed above this. So I'm out of the short trade out here. Okay, I'm out of the short trade, but I want to look for a new long. Okay, so the new long will be, it's a tiny body. I can keep the entry here, but I want to be more conservative. I want to enter above the wick of the tiny body. Too small a body to take, consider the body close like that. So I'm here in this trade out here. Going long, going long, tiny body. Okay, lower wick. Trail raised. Move it here. Move it here. Trail stop loss hit in this candle. Because you now you would say that why not this one? One second. Why not this one? This one did not close below this doji. Okay. It went and made this. Now, sometimes we our psychological mind tells us and we get out of this. But ideally, this trail now becomes here. Why? Because upper wick formation happened out here. Tiny bodies. So you need to just put your trail stop loss further lower than this. But most traders would exit here. Most traders, you know, the fear factor comes into play. But if you do that out here and you have another new entry out here, which I just explained to you and how to run that winner. Now, this process is the same thing you would be doing in whichever time frame you are trading okay i just showed you from a five minute point of view like that so supposing you are a positional trader you, know, you take longs and you carry for a longer time frame you would run your winner like that or say you know an investor okay so this is the index say supposing i want to look at a stock like itc okay it's given a fantastic run okay so i'm going to for the monthly yeah so you can see out here what a beautiful winner the stock has been okay out here doji presence of a lower wick entry above this and after that look at this month on month 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 no lower wick just stock is just trending it's a it's a trending haikanashi investors delight you know you're just holding on to your winner or say supposing now you missed out the entry on a stock and you want to look at an entry from a haikanashi perspective so you do one thing is that you wait for the candle to close above this candle so like november going on right now so 30th november when this candle closes you want it to close above the october haikanashi bar close which is 339.5 and you take the entry like that and you follow the rule of a reversal accordingly okay so it's not just that because i picked up here i can enter here i can run a winner also accordingly in haikanashi so similarly uh, let's take stocks like uh, the omcs which have been very badly hammered uh, or have given a very poor performance uh, for the last few months okay so let's go to the daily. It'll be more clear. Yeah. Look at this. Fall, fall, fall. Little bit of turn. Fall. Change of color. So the change of color now out here. Let's draw this bigger. Yeah. So this change of color, doji. Draw a line at the doji. Let it hold on to it. Hold on to your log. This is lower than that, but closes above that. It's not violated. I'm going to hold on to it. Doji, this one moves up, tiny body, tiny body doji, not closing below the doji. Change of color, but did not close below this. This is too close. This particular doji is too close to this. I can hold on to this and run. And do I have a winner in my hand? Look at the body today. Look at this massive green body in PPCL. So as a positional trader, 
or as someone who bought bpcl who made an entry in bpcl maybe you bought bpcl a bit earlier and your costing is higher or you've just entered here this this hikenashi bar tells you relax now just trail it don't worry don't fear panic don't think of an exit under any circumstances in this one so this is hikenashi bar short simple you can see i'm not put any indicator on my screen you can put indicators on your screen if you wish to if your strength is a particular study or something and if you see that it may help you with that but i like to look at it in complete isolation i can assure you without any noise without any what uh, other signal and try to run it as much as possible because it itself is a modified candle okay because all indicator based studies are dependent on the data say if you are using a moving average of say 10 or 20 or 50 or 100 it 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 totally plans out on the data before you right or say a bollinger band or a rsi or ichimoku or a vwap some whatever whatever you use but they are also based on a collection of data this one is also on the collection of the previous scandal which is coinciding with the previous one so it's a series which is happening in front of you it has its own unique way to give you a buy sell and you just need to follow it completely so this is ikanashi for you uh, if there are any questions uh, you can take or fazil you can take over now from you thank you sir so here is our title sponsor called espresso from the family of shekhan one of the leading stock brokers in india with millions of investors and the espresso is a discount brokerage platform where they will not charge for your loss making trades let's say for an example if your uh, strategy is where you are able to make some 40% uh success rate rate is, is itself is just 60% and you are making 40% of the loss making trades then you can save that cost and also they have a platform called desktop trading platform similar to trading week and similar to trade tiger called binge go open your account and experience the platform thank you next slide sir next yeah. one yes sir stay so after a successful uh, event of traders conclave 2022 which happened in the last month itself in september month from 22 to 25 we are upcoming with investival which is a on the basis of uh, investors con con conclave where we only talk about here the equity investments other in investments next slide sir yeah one next slide sir the highlights of the investival is we are bringing up 200 plus in retail investors there will be a 25 fund managers there will be a 25 pan india mentors who will be purely into the investing world also there will be a six innovative sessions who will be talking about the investment strategies plus there will be a lot of competitions like quizzes and other competitions and also we have kept it at 10 lakh worth rupees of prize money and in the event only that game will be going to play thank you sir next slide sir so who all can attend this event and you know get lot of benefits out of it is like the any retail investors lot of portfolio managers can come equity analysts also the people who are beginning to become a aspiring investors or aspiring traders can come and attend this event next slide sir so as i said there will be a lot of competition there are few to there are the these are the key innovations over here which will be doing one is investors premier league where we have kept our own in house application and we will be you will be coming and playing the games over there also we have a master portfolio manager again there are six amazing sessions will be there there will be a panel discussion with the expert fund managers also there will be a 25 mentors and 25 fund managers next slide sir 
so this was the highlights of the traders conclave 2022 where almost 300 plus uh, participants are there lot of sponsors were there lot of other people were there and uh, mentors were there almost 50 plus mentors were there to be very frank almost all the people are very much happy they they are very much enthu about this event and they had enjoyed a lot in terms of sessions in terms of gaining the knowledge with the mentors in terms of interacting other participants and they have made a lot of new friends over there and still they are happy and lot of people are buzzing us to join this investors conclave also thanks for your having so much of faith in our event and uh, we are very much sure that the investigal also will make it much more better than this event because since this was our very first event traders conclave from the family of traders gurukul and we made it very grand successful and we have learned a lot of things from this event that all these learnings will be applying over there in investigal to make it much more you know much more beautiful for the participants thank you sir next slide next slide sir so as i said the early bird offer is 2499 for the first 100 seats only so please go and grab the seats next slide sir next so here is the website address www.investival.in there you will have the two options available on the buy now button where you can pay 10999 and pay the advance amount of 10999 and block your seat or else you can pay 2499 and block your seat if you have any other doubts any any doubts you can directly contact me on my number 63601078 i'm again telling my number 63601078 thank you next slide sir so here comes the sixth quiz of the series i have taken from this uh, uh, learning session only in heiken ashi analysis the uptrend gets weaker or exhausted with dash bodies again i am repeating once again in heiken ashi analysis the uptrend gets weaker or exhausted with dash bodies please go ahead and shoot your answers in the chat box i'm repeating once again in heiken ashi analysis of the uptrend gets weaker or exhausted with the dash bodies please go ahead and shoot your answers in the chat box thank you next slide sir so the daily winner will be selected all the 11 winner, winners will have the next online event at with the free at the lifetime recording access also will be available if any person who wins three times continuously in the out of the 11 uh, quiz he will be a, he will be the man of the intrusion series award and he will be getting the educational goodies of worth rupees 1 lakh from traders gurukul so please participate and win the awards here thank you next slide sir so the winner for the last quiz is mr suleiman pathan the question was let's say you have a stop loss of 10 points in a particular trade and your risk per trade is 2000 then what should be your trading traded quantity the answer was 200 congratulations mr suleiman pathan next slide sir so here comes the question and answers so please yeah. whatever the doubts you have please shoot your questions to the dinesh sir waiting for the questions guys please shoot your questions sir uh, one question from mr anil kumar uh, for yeah. intraday what time frame you can choose i mean would be used okay so if you are trading options 
or index i would suggest uh, 5 or 15 in, in the case of options i would suggest 5 minutes or, or 15 would be ideal but if you are doing stocks in trade then 15 not less than 15 stocks 5 minutes is uh, no liquidity out there so 5 uh, minutes is fair enough in intraday 5 or 15 would be fair enough yeah. for the stocks it's 15 minutes right yeah not less than 50 i don't advise it. you can do it but because we don't have that much liquidity and the same stocks don't uh, give moves every day right index right. movements happen daily so don't recommend uh, in stocks to go below 50 okay so uh, one more question from mr kunal joshi hmm. can you please show a trade example with options trade uh i think in trading uh, we option, open uh, yeah. uh no i will not be able to open an option chart out here uh, in right. this laptop of mine uh, i'll have to connect it through my see what you can do is that if you have a broker who is giving you option charts okay right. and if the data is correct you know the data has to be correct it should not be smudged between a previous expiry and you know from 0 to 100 like that no so if the data is correct just like you would run it in a spot chart in uh, whichever software you use similar thing in the option chart the, it won't change the rule will not change at all but just remember the option uh, as the expiry comes closer the decay factors are always there so the movements will also be that way okay so just keep that factor like like you do in normally trading yeah okay thank you sir Yeah. uh one more question from atish shurana uh yeah. how to plan for the stop loss in options as uh, stop loss as sl is as per premium value yeah so see since i presume you are talking about intraday option trading okay right. i presume you are saying yeah. that so the the decay factor in an intraday option is maximum on the expiry day or the settlement day otherwise it's a gradual process so just like you would do in a like i showed you in the cash stock that just keep it two haikanashi bars behind or one haikanashi two is would be most ideal two haikanashi bars behind and let the trail run for you till there is a change doji follow through or change of color follow through and let the run winner run like that in your favor continuously so using that process and uh, do it uh, yes of course in the last day of the expiry we have that melting factor come in uh, in it it use the same formula because if there is a melting factor which would mean that unless the trend is not super strong the uh, premiums will not go up whether you are using a normal candlestick chart or a haikanashi chart right so like today the premium started shooting up after 245 right the 18400 went from 3 to 100 bucks but before that even when nifty was moving 15 20 30 points the premium was not going up so that's also one way to look at it that wait for the confirmation in the option chart to come in your favor so it will negate the decay impact also for you yeah thank you sir so one more question from mr amresh can we use multiple time frame like if daily is in up trend we can plan in hourly to buy it so he yeah, you can plan. definitely yeah yeah you can so for uh, say supposing the daily haiganashi bar uh, is turned bullish and you've just spotted the stock okay you've just spotted it so you can go and in the lower time frame say an hourly and uh, if there is a if there was a dip in the hourly or you can set up the hourly haikanashi bar entry you don't have to wait for 330 in that case set up the haikanashi hourly reversal confirmation and enter a stock so very clearly you know when you are even if you are using any other study and the stock is at a support so use the haikanashi reversal confirmation to enter the trade that way okay that way that way you can do similarly for resistance if the if the stock has come to a major resistance or extremely overbought or whatever you don't have to just jump out of the trade or start shorting it you go to the hourly and you set it up like that for reversal confirmation in your favor i hope uh, this answered 
the next question from mr ganesh in options uh, he is asking where to enter at the open of the candle next to the signal candle or above the high of the signal candle okay so if it is if the reversal signal is a doji okay supposing uh, my, it was falling down and now it's going up you want to buy that option presuming you are talking on the buy side so right. you if it is a turn around on a doji wait for the hyganashi bar to close above the doji doji high the wick of the doji not the body of the doji the upper wick of the doji if it is a change of color supposing the red hyganashi bars have now turned to green and you want to enter in that case if the body is normal size it's a big body or a medium size body wait for the close of the hyganashi bar above the close of the previous hyganashi not the high the previous hyganashi close when the case of body can for uh, change of color we look at close if the change if the if it's a doji we are looking at then we look at the wicks remember that because the doji has a very tiny body you cannot use the body close the the close of a doji as a confirmation that's why great sir uh, one question from mr uh, malika jun yeah. uh, he is asking you to show an example on the reversal entry point in tcs on daily chart okay tcs in daily chart So I'll just draw the draw from here. Sir, can you please zoom it? Like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. One second. One minute. One minute. One minute. No problem. Yes. So we'll start from each case. Okay. Not necessary that you bought it at here. So supposing you were looking for an entry here, okay. So change of color out here. So you draw a line here. Okay, draw a line here. But what happens is that it makes dojis, dojis. It's making lower wicks also, right? So now my entry is only going to be here. Then I have a, again a red color, again a doji. So now my entry is above this. So I am going to keep on. One minute. Yeah. So again, my entry is above this, and I am uh, long here. This particular Hikanashi bar, I am long. Okay. My stop loss will be here. So the long will be after the closing of that bar, right, sir? Yeah. Not before that. Not before that. Okay, just one second. Let me just rub these out. It is all the way. Yeah. So here, because there's a change of color red again, doji. So entry above this. Entry above this. This is the entry confirmation. I'm long. This is my stop loss. This, not this. Okay. This is my stop loss. This, this, this is too close a stop loss. So I'll use this as my stop loss. I'll run the trade. I have a lower wick. Okay. I have lower wicks. I have a big red doji. So if I'm already long, this is my trail stop loss. Again, I need the red candle bar to close below it. And now if I'm supposing, now I'm looking for an entry, my entry is above this, fresh entry. I want to buy more or I'm going to enter the stock again. So here I am again, upper wick, lower wicks, upper wick, lower wicks, some more upper wicks, lower wicks. This becomes my new entry, this particular one, this which comes here here so again i'm long or you can say my trail stop loss if i had entered here or i have entered more here my trail stop loss keeps going up to this particular one okay i mean goes up little bit of stuttering trail stop loss little bit of see see again a classic case of follow th why follow through in Haikanashi is extremely important. So here we have a red 
candle, but it did not give a follow through down, right? So no, no stop loss hit, trail continues. Okay, trail continues. Now for someone who wants to enter this trade, so draw a line above this line. Okay, third opportunity to buy, one opportunity, one more opportunity, third opportunity to enter the trade out here. We are into the trade long, long, long. Now, this one, lower, small red body, okay, with a lower weight, I'll keep my exit line here, below that. Again, no upper weight, small body, but closed above it. I'll again, you know, because that means that there is some kind of consolidation happening in this particular zone. So, I'll move my stop loss here. And we'll hold because these are modified. Remember, we are modified candles. So all that bare, you know, weak hands being flushed out out here in this particular zone. Okay, flushed out. Again, a new entry. Okay, so we had one entry here, one entry here, one entry here. Another opportunity to enter the stop. Why? Right? Above this line. Okay, above this line, we have a new entry coming in. We are long in the stop. Okay, we're long, we're going long, we're going long. There's a doji. Now our trail stop loss is hit. Why? Because the close happened below this. The close happened. So any of these longs got a trail stop loss hit on this candle. But is it a short? No, it's not a short. It is just a turn. The long is out, but the one second. Just let me draw it again for you. Yeah, because the next candle, oh yeah, this was a short, sorry. The next candle gave me a short, my stop loss would be here. My initial stop loss is here, okay, initial. But now look what happened today. It made a green doji, change of color. So my stop loss came here, today's close is here. So is it a buy signal again? Definitely out of shorts. So for those who want to do a fresh long, okay, you want to do a totally fresh long, you can think of doing this, come at 3.15 tomorrow. That's on the daily time frame. Okay, daily time frame. If there is a Haiganashi green bar, no lower wick, closing above this line, you are in for that trade with this as your stop loss. Right now, this would be the stop loss. As the candles progress, you can keep on increasing your trade. Keep on increasing like that. Yeah. I hope uh, it was clear how I explained. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very much clear. Yeah. So again, uh, the same question from Yogesh Shirode. Does our entry would be based on closing of the current candle or during formation can of the candle if the mark level are hit? Or <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you're doing an entry, okay, many a times, uh, if you are if you are very good with discipline, okay, you you need to be very good with discipline if you want to do it before the candle closes, because a lot of times what happen is that you would get trapped in a trade like this. You would get trapped in a trade like this. If you are good enough to exit, if it fails to at the closing of the candle, it fails to do that job, then fair enough, you can do it. But if you don't want to get into that headache of uh, you know, every 10 minutes, depending on the time frame, you are every now and then peeping in and out, whether it's formed, whether it's failing, whether what is happening, then wait for follow through confirmation because that's what Haikanashi is all about modified follow through confirmation. So it's up to the individual. If your discipline is fantastic, you can do it in that manner. Yeah, it'll require some experience, you know. Don't do that right now. If you're new to Haikanashi, don't do that. Once yeah, you yeah. get used to Haikanashi trading, say if you're doing it on a daily basis, uh, over a period of two, three weeks at least, then you'll have a few running winners, then you'll have a few stop losses hit, and you learn how to run a trail, then try to do that. Otherwise, initially, I strongly do not recommend it like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one more question from Mr. Ganesh. Can we use trend line or chart patterns to increase accuracy? In the no, you don't sheet. draw a trend line in this. You don't draw a trend line in this at all because these are modified. 
right it won't work it won't work don't try to draw in fact uh, even a rsi will uh, look different on this it's okay. a normal rsi with this why because this is modified right so yeah the calibration RSI is totally so different yeah. they'll get impacted yeah totally impacted so don't do that use your normal indicator on a normal candlestick or a line chart uh, use i do not try to get indicators uh, use that indicator for your uh, strength weakness entry indicator targets etc but uh, do not mix it when you are doing high conversion sir uh, there is a lot of questions uh, especially on this please once again explain entry in the sideways market okay sideways market so let's try to do it in some other stock sure okay sure. so okay. so let's say access back okay. access there is no sideways yeah we had a huge sideways right huge yeah. you can see out here i'm going to again take a pen right so body getting smaller body got smaller uh, doji candle this is if you were short okay your trail stop loss out here so the trail stop loss is out now you are looking for a long entry out here okay so long entry because the bodies are so small i would keep my entry here earliest would be here you know depending on trader to trader trader to trader so if you are new i would keep my entry above this line above this line why because these are very small bodies i don't want to fight it i don't want to fight this entry at all you depends on you know conservative trader aggressive trader knowledge on aikanashi practiced aikanashi for a long time with that depends so for a new one the entry would be here because it's closed above everything so you're long so your trail will be ideally two candles behind two hikanashi bars behind so today's close is here so you would keep your trail here unless there's a change of color doji you then modify and raise your trail accordingly like you are here also see this yeah there's a tiny wick out here so moved it here after that the next wick is here then there is a very small candle here like this and you are out of the grid so use hikanashi from that aspect also what hikanashi will help you is that uh, many a times you will see say for instance uh, just a second if i do draw this out yeah you are looking for an entry in a stock which is giving you a sharp up move okay sharp up move like someone asked me whether i can do multi time trade yeah so some supposing this one okay this is on uh, this was 28th of october okay you are looking for an entry in axis bank so 28th of october yeah something like this so you wait out here you know for a turn to happen turn to happen in your favor then you buy like that so here we didn't get a turn you didn't get a turn here also see body is very tiny till here this entire journey body is so tiny you don't want to enter this is to accept this candle out here tiny bodies na so you want to be very careful with the entry again tiny bodies today in spite of the last one hour move bodies were tiny okay so tomorrow if you want to enter this stock you keep your entry above here wait for the first hour hikanashi bar to close above this keep this as your trail stop loss initially initially again remember see so you are looking at hourly so you'll have to wait for the hourly hikanashi to close below this and gradually take your trail stop losses two candles behind just just let it like a shadow consider it like a shadow you're walking in the uh, in, the, in the afternoon or in the morning in, not at 12 noon other time look at it like a shadow you know shadow boxing like that yeah thank you yes, sir yes yeah. sir thank you sir uh, there is an in interesting question from mr saravana kumar uh, yeah. since the price value is different in price action chart meaning candlestick yeah. chart and hikanashi chart 
how to identify the correct price value for buy or sell can you please explain sir yeah so uh, if you whatever study you have okay whatever study you are doing or uh, you know bank thought and it gives you a breakout or it's at a major support or whatever so based on that you you come to a conclusion i want to buy the stock or say value buy forget technical analysis say value buying of a stock which is corrected say see the say oil companies okay like uh, like bpcl or ongc or something like that you you will be at it from an investor point of view so you're just taking the entry and you're running it on the trail like that is there a change of color is it working in my favor so uh, we've had a major correction in uh, quite a few stocks uh, recently fertilizer stocks which were seeing a lot of correction or say adani enterprise okay i'm going to go to adani enterprise one second there is a lot of flutter happening in adani enterprise right so the haikanashi nadani what does it tell you from a, i'm talking from a daily chart okay i'm not talking from a traders uh, a lower time trader point of view out here so when you say you know what should be my value it of entry and all that this is the big doji okay. this has it closed below this big doji no so till it doesn't do my value it's a it's a buy for you know and for me to take an entry out here would be above this line haiken ashi not a normal candlestick okay please note not a normal candlestick uh, so if i look at it in a normal candlestick what does it look like looks like this okay. and anyone who looks at candlesticks out here would panic in this uh, who has not got in depth knowledge of candlesticks but it is enough to panic somebody when i look at it in haiken ashi i am not worried it's a doji candle i can wait this is this is the danger one this one it has no upper wick it's a large red body but this massive wick out here and this massive wick out here makes me keep my stop loss out here. yeah thank you sir yeah. sir one more question from mr vinod babu yeah. trail stop loss should be in your system or we need to watch and wait for the next candle confirmation since we need to look for the close so at that's why i said you uh, you keep it two candle basis okay uh, if you are occupied with some other trade or you are in some other business or some other work or something uh, whichever time frame you are trading in keep it two candles behind okay in case there is a massive reversal it will get hurt it will get clicked and taken out so two candles behind is fair enough and just come at the end of the particular time frame you are trading in just keep on revising it in your favor accordingly and move it because uh, see a chart a trend will progress at its own speed not at the speed at which you and i desire okay so our desire will always be that we want stocks to run super fast in our direction but markets never do that seldom very seldom they do something like that so the whole thing is that you let it progress the way it is doing you just keep on running it accordingly so it requires a lot of trading discipline it requires a lot of uh, conviction and a study so revise the study follow it look at thousands of examples before you plunge into it and then respect it follow it have faith in your study it does the rest for you thank you sir uh a question from hitesh nankar please yeah. suggest on reliance as per yeah. i can see on day chart it is showing bearish so is today's entry time in reliance okay so yeah, if you are saying daily chart yes yeah, daily, daily Doji, red, red, upper wicks. These are two bad candles. Okay, these two are bad candles. That is twenty first November and twenty second. But after that, we had a doji, right? Upper wick doji, change of color doji. So the selling pressure is missing right now. Selling pressure is missing. 
so is the buying presence so as a haikanashi purely on haikanashi okay i am not going to consider any other study so my buy would be above this and if i want to exit i may have not exited earlier due to some reason or the other i would keep my exit below this close at the most i would keep it here at the most but that would be unfair uh, to do this that would be taking slightly more risk but below this doji i would be out why because this doji low is closing below the body closing below the body out here but this above this buy below this exit if you are buying out here this is your trade stop loss initially how to this one okay that way and if you want to short the stock below that okay? below this line the doji high will be your stop call at the most this okay like that because here there was presence of some buyer here there is a larger presence of buyer so this high is enough from that point of view so the last two uh, red candles i can see candles can be considered yeah, as these, a entry already yeah no 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 these are these, these must have been short this was a short signal okay Correct. so it's already some, uh, on a daily time basis uh, whoever has shorted this okay that trail is here was here was okay, okay. Right. because this candle happened out here so there is a tightening but now definitely this is a trail stop this okay change of color even though doji plus doji long wick doji this is a long right. wick doji right so you want to be careful about that you don't want to be on the short side uh, above that you won't you'll be in trouble if you do that in that trade so above right. this definitely out of the short but this is daily so totally depend on which time frame you are uh, looking for a trading entry So again, one more question from Naresh Kotwani. He's asking, yeah. like, can we apply the Fibonacci retracement extension on Haikanashi chart? Yeah, you can, you can. But again, see now. For example, uh, I'm going to go to candlesticks. Okay. In Reliance. Okay. This is the low, open and low. Okay. and this one is a high out here high is 2642 this candle okay 2642 2642 change it to high kanashi 2642 yeah you can you can i don't normally apply i i use all candlesticks you turn it to candlesticks and apply because modified candle na sometimes you make an error in the high and low okay so stick to normal candle for drawing the uh, the uh, the uh, fibonacci or any other indicator keep your high and low pure and clean when you are doing it totally okay uh, one more person was asking like can we use vwap on the chart i think you could use any other study, any study but again see vwap or whichever study you use uh, stick to the normal candle for indicator studies right and then you can cor correlate to this no harm to correlate but don't overlap on this the same study don't overlap because the overlapping in a moving average will be different in an rsi will be different so it might give you a different so basic thing what is haikanashi haikanashi is a modified candle right so it is a a indicator which is not going to take a particular change right away on the face value it will combine it with the previous candle then give you a signal correct so as it is the signal confirmation comes try slightly slower okay but it is better it's what we say better late than never or no early entry no haste and what are indicator based studies they are all based on past data so you are trying to do one lagging indicator all indicators are lagging in study except price action 
of Fibonacci or Elliott wave or harmonics or GAN, all indicator based studies are lagging by nature. That's the definition because they depend on past data. So when you take something which is lagging and you add it to something which is modified, your signal will become very slow. It will become very, very slow. Okay, so uh, preferably don't do that. Preferably. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Sir, there is a lot of questions, uh, especially uh, with regard to uh, about uh, any recommendation on the study in high energy, especially with the book. Uh, there is a book by Dan Walchu. D A N Walchu. V A L C U. Okay. The best book written in Aiken Ashi is by Dan Walchu. Yeah. I think we have uh, covered all the almost all the questions uh, yeah. pertaining to the E. Yeah. Uh, we'll go to the la please go to the last slide, sir. Yeah. With this, we have come to the end of the session. Dear Dinesh, sir, thanks for your insightful session. On the behalf of all the participants of Interzone 3.0, the Money Control Pro team and the Espresso team, and all the family members of Traders Gurukul, we extend our sincere thanks for joining our event and sharing your invaluable knowledge with everyone. Thank you very thank, much, sir. Thank you, Faisal. Thank you, Trader Gurukul, for having me, and thank you, participants, to be here tonight with us. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Friends. Thank you. That's the story for today. I hope everyone of you enjoyed the session. I will see you all tomorrow at 8 p.m. sharp with yet another interesting session. Signing off, Fazil Ahmed from Traders Gurukul. Good night.